place here in America called Fission Spinners have been causing a lot of controversy. But did you know there's another controversy that to go with them? Apparently sources say that they that they are causing cancer as said by Donald Trump. Off. What you turn off? Because dude, all you need is one single person to get some ideological, biological disease and just to make one little insignificant thing popular again and boom, all of a sudden it's news. Weren't you supposed to do something today? What was I supposed to do? What was I supposed to do? It's on the, it's on the tip of my tongue. Oh. What was it? Damn it, what is it? Hail Prep Day! Yeah, I don't feel like doing that. What? We just bought all this food to do this, man! We are doing it! Because it's too much work. I just want to sit here and eat cookies. I don't want to make all that crap. Look, I know it's a lot of preparation, but we got to... Wait, how are we talking to each other like this? What do you mean? How am I talking to myself through a video talking like this? This is not supposed to happen. If we keep doing this, it's going to break the universe time bending sequence. <sighs> nah, man. That's just fake news created by China. <laughs> Told ya! Hey everyone, this is DBG here, and today, like I said, we're doing a huge prep meal kind of day. We got multiple items here, because we're making about six to seven kind of meals here. And how the video's gonna go, I'm gonna go through each single fuck. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is DBG here, and we're actually doing a pretty big meal prep kind of day. Otherwise known as Sunday meal prep day. But of course, everyone's uh, sketch a little bit different, I'm just doing mine on a different day. So basically, we're going to be doing six to seven meals depending on what you want to do. And how this video is going to go, I'm going to go through each single meal and how I prep it. I'm going to have to kind of move a little bit faster in this because there's a lot of meals and I have actually a lot of stuff to do. So, um, I'm going to be describing them as the video goes on, but if you want to get a quick basis, in the description below is what I'm eating. Quick, quick easy, and straight to the point. One, first off, this is about 4,500 calories because I just got my boot off and I'm actually going to be getting back to lifting. And one of the things, I'm going to actually start loading up my calories because I was not eating this much. So it's going to be a little bit of a long day. Something like this usually will take a few hours. But first off, we're going to be doing the breakfast beginning. So first off, like it says in the description below, we're going to be starting with some simple oats as it shows right here. If you're hearing that sound, that is my washing machine. I do apologize for that. So basically, get something as a good, pretty decent blender. I got this blender years ago, and I'm still using it to this day. It's just a simple ninja blender. What you want to do, overall, is just basically blend this up, process this. Try to get a fine kind of flour. I'm not going to show you how to do that, but I will show you the after effects here in a second. It's nice and processed and fine. You might want to go a little bit longer, but that's the kind of uh, texture we want. Because what we're doing is we're making a protein shake in the morning. All we have to do is put it into our cup, blend it up one more time, and then we can walk out of here quick, easy, and simple. All right. So, basically, when you want to do this, make sure you actually have your scale, because all drug dealers and bodybuilders have a scale. Drugs are bad. You just gotta do it. Make sure you have a trusty scoop. And of course, remember, you got to get about two servings, so don't go ch chimsy on, on the oatmeal. There we go. That's only about 71 grams. And I'm also going to show you... Oh, shit. So just like it says on the cartridge, we need about two servings. I put a little bit too much in here. Two servings will be about 80 grams of oats. Press zero and move on to the next step. I go with Rob's Red Mill Almond Flour. A lot of people don't get this. I don't even know why or even how it's possible. But apparently, the almond flour at my Sam's Club is cheaper than buying whole almonds. I don't even know how that works. I don't even know why that's even possible. So get one whole scoop in there. You need about 28 grams. I went a little too much right there. So we're going to scoop some out. There we go. 28 grams. Next up, of course, you got to get the peanut butter fit. Two servings of that. And yes, 
many can say this is a very more a very vegan approach to this besides the whole milk that is in the description below it says right there you can go with a pea protein base if you want to that is your choice not as mine or even a soy milk almond milk uh, idea again not my not my forte but I'm hoping to switch one of these days to more of a pea protein or almond milk but the problem with almond milk though there is a controversy with the almond milk it does take one gallon of water to make one almond so it doesn't give me give my jimmies want to roll it to that idea so there's the, that and the last thing you got to do is get some kind of berries right here you can do a variety of berries it really doesn't matter or if you want and what's the word I'm looking for you could go bananas any kind of fruit really does not matter make sure you just put at least one serving in here and yeah this is getting pretty hefty but with the milk added in the morning, this thing gets to, like it says in the description, over 800 calories. And look at this. I had to put nearly 140 grams of fruit just to make one. Just one bag. This is what it's going to look like overall in my freezer. Well, I didn't get as much as I wanted, but I got 12 days worth with the fruit I did have. I had actually used some of my kiwi, but what can you do? Now we're gonna move on to the second meal, the eggs. So this is one of the more tedious ones you gotta do. One thing you gotta do is crack all the eggs. And many people say, well, don't eat the yolk. Eat the yolk, it has enough protein in it. Trust me on that one, you can look it up, ask Arnold. So basically crack all the eggs you got, I got about 36, that's going to be, give me about 6 days worth. So don't forget your parmesan, and of course, don't go chimpy on the spinach. And, and it's going to be tedious because I'm cracking open 36 eggs. Let's see what that looks like after we're done. And there we go, we got a whole lot of eggs, 36 eggs with 6, sorry. There is 12 zeros of parmesan and 1 whole pound of spinach. Time to wish it up and put it in the fryer. I put a little bit of olive oil, oil in here just because I felt a little bit more olive oil for this. You don't need a lime, you just probably need a serving or two. Make sure you get all the edges because because this is going to cover the whole thing. This is going to take a very, very long time. There are other alternatives to do this. You can do it in the oven if you choose to, but I choose not to because that's where I'm going to cook my chicken. So you got to do what you got to do. So. Make sure to put this on a very, very low heat. Otherwise, you're going to have a problem. So just slowly get that in here. And like I said, look, I didn't even put the whole thing in there. I'm already filling this thing up. So just a little bit more. And there we go. I'll add the rest here in a bit because I cannot do anymore. So just slowly cook this. I might have a problem there because I might have put too many eggs in there, but that's my problem later down the road. So keep this on low and move on to the next thing. And now we move on to my favorite part of the meal, the pasta and the meat. I'm just going to combine these both areas. So one part is going to be chicken. That's your next meal. And then the next pasta with the veggies meal is going to be beef because you want some, an easier meal in the morning and a harder, heftier meal at night. That's what I feel that I should do. All right, so I think we all know how to do chicken. I'm just gonna show you how to do it real quick. You don't need to do super crazy, but what you wanna do is dice everything. That's the thing you got to do. If you dice it, it's, or slice it like this, it's going to cook a whole lot easier and a whole lot faster because we, eh, we don't want to wait 20,000 years just to cook some damn chicken. So, I'm just going to show you how to do this real quick with a snap of my fingers. One, two, three. Well, that happy guys. Go, here's all the chicken, nice and diced. Put the seasoning you want in there and put it in a nice pan, 350, for whenever it gets done cooking. So, about 30 minutes. Right after that, make sure you start getting your pot nice and hot so we can cook the pasta. And I only got one pot, man. Use two pots if you can. Most because you got a lot of pasta to cook here. Now while we're waiting for the pasta and chicken to cook, we can at least do the next part for us to make it a little bit easier for us down the road. Get the beef started for our next thing. Why did I go with canned beef? Mostly because it was on sale, plus it's also pretty lean. Yes, it's been slightly processed, but remember, we're on a budget here. We're trying to keep as cheap as possible, and currently, that was the cheapest thing we can go with. We're going to go with, remember, six ounces on the chicken and the beef at a time, 
with one serving of veggies, two serving of Parmesan, and two and a half servings of pasta to get 100 grams of carbs. So we're gonna show you the next process, mostly at this, uh, the beginning of the end. Spit that shit out, man! The end of it. And voila! Even though I don't have the pasta and some of these or the red sauce because I'm cooking it, but this is what's gonna look like. 12 whole meals. Now times that by two with the chicken, and you got 24 whole meals just right here. Perfect, ready to go, ready to freeze. Man, I wish I had a bigger fridge though. Like I said before, it's going to topple over, but overall we still got it cooked. We got to cook the other little parts and that part is done. And I will say, I've been doing this since six o'clock. It is 9.30 now and I still got stuff to do. But this is like weeks worth of food. In order to save some time, pain, and misery, what I'm actually going to do, instead of cutting my bananas, I'm going to throw them into my blender and let it mix up overall, make it to a nice banana paste. Otherwise, I'm going to be staying up chopping, slowly putting the bananas on the my sandwiches. So we're just going to do it this way, just make it overall easier for everyone and myself. Now what you can do to actually add some more flavor this, flavors to this, to get more of a charcoal taste, add some cocoa. Yeah, you don't have to add too much. Really, you want to do kind of one serving banana, one serving of cocoa. That's kind of the idea you're going with. So I'm not going to lie. I'm starting to get a little tired from doing all this. Nearly four to five hours of this all. But hey, you know, when you think about it, you're not the cook for weeks. Weeks. That just saves on dishes overall. But right now, we're going to actually make the sandwiches. Got my cocoa banana right here. Got my bread all ready to go. And got my peanut butter. Oh, let's make about 10 sandwiches. They move on to the next thing. Look at this. Look at this. This thing is filled to the brim with meals and everything. And I couldn't even fit all this. I didn't even put some of this stuff in my deep freeze. And I still got my protein shakes and my casein stuff to go. Okay, next we're actually going to be doing the pre-workout. Oh boy, this just gets longer and longer and longer. I totally forgot about the pre-workout. So, here's the next part. One scoop of some aminos, energy right here, and a mixture of four to five grams of creatine monohydrate and creatine HCL. The only reason why I'm adding the creatine monohydrate to the creatine HCL, they both digest differently and both give different effects. Even though they're overall the same thing, they both will digest differently. Plus, I had creatine monohydrate from Christmas and I might as well use it. And of course, we add one serving of my pre-workout, which is called Shock D. Got it on sale during uh, Black Friday. And you know, I'm still trying to finish it off you know, I probably would have finished it off if I didn't have the whole two months scenario because of my broken foot. You gotta do what you do. And of course, some dextrose sugar for some simple sugars to overall help you get that workout going. And I'm gonna be going until I'm out of pre-workout overall because I do not have that much pre-workout. And once that's done, I'm gonna be creating my own. But that's gonna be a different video for another day. Besides that, then it's the protein and then it's the casein and then I'm done. But Again, you just gotta scale it right. When it comes to this, you gotta have, like it says, eight, eight to eight and a half. This one's, let's see what it says right here. Five grams, five, and let's see, five grams. And since we're trying to get a good amount of sugar, 20 grams of sugar. So after a nearly an hour of prepping this, I'm finally done. All my pre workout. It took me an hour to do 30 servings. I have no more. That was it. I still got to do the protein for the post-workout and then the nighttime casein. All right, now we're moving on to the post-workout meal. Got your glucose meat, one serving of that. And we got gym supplement protein. It has whey protein isolate, muscular casein, milk protein isolate, egg white protein. A little mixture, I kind of like that kind of stuff. I used to do that a lot, but I was just too lazy to do it again. So, I just went with Jim. I'm actually excited, it's first time I'm trying it. Of course, I didn't get any gummy bears because I totally forgot, but I'm like, you know what, let's just use dextrose again. Another serving of dextrose, and one serving of some flaxseed for some good, healthy fats. And, oh God, I just remember this. Some cocoa to add to the mix. Oh wait, I'm sorry, wrong one. No, we have to go at night. At night, not now. All right, besides that. Oh, and oatmeal. The rest of this oatmeal. Whatever it can fill in here, I'm, that's it, I'm done. I'm not gonna do any freaking more. I'm not gonna lie, I am so freaking tired now. It is 12 o'clock at night right now. I have been going at this since 5, 
this literally was doing like a part-time job, six and a half hours doing this. Most of it weighing everything. But guess what? You gotta weigh everything. But again, I'm doing this for two weeks, two plus weeks, depending on if it's gonna be the protein powders for pre-workout, post-workout, nighttime. It's probably gonna take me another hour. So, anyways, one serving of casing, 10 grams of cocoa, two servings of peanut butter fits, one serving of chai seeds, and that is it. I have two containers because this one's almost done. Basically, this is the night thing meal. Something you eat before you go to bed. Um, you don't want to eat something with a lot of high in um, sugar because that's going to help you keep stay up. We don't want that. We want something high in fat uh, and high in protein to help you sleep overall. And of course, you know, probably drink some milk with it. I am very fucking tired. I will show you the end of what this looks like in my giant box to the left, um, right behind me. I am very tired. Yeah. This is the aftermath. The aftermath of all that meal prepping. I am literally covered in everything I had today. And made today, I am so tired. It is 12.30, I've been doing this for seven goddamn hours. This is DVG and I'm done with this meal prep. This is the hardest one I've ever done.